Hey, good morning, everybody. Good afternoon, Facebook Live. How's everybody this afternoon? I know most of you are probably at work. You're probably halfway um, ready, getting ready for lunch. Um, I just wanted to come on with my Wednesday's wisdom tidbit of the day. It is hump day. It is the middle of the week, and um, I am in day three. This is day three of my 40 days of intercession. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Come on in. Please share this broadcast with someone. They may not be able to watch it right away, but once they get off work, once they get home and get settled in a good place and they alter, they'll be able to, sh to watch this live. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining. I pray that all is well. Hopefully um, all of you all are having a great day thus far. But I just wanted to come on for my Wednesday wisdom. So this is day three of my 40 days of intercession. And God has been really just showing me people's heart. Um, I don't know what you're experiencing, what you're dealing with, but I think we have less than 90 days left in this year, 2018. And God laid on my heart early this morning, um, really last night and into this morning about forgiveness. So this is your wisdom uh, your Wednesday's wisdom, you're going to have to forgive some people. I want you all to know, I want to look you in your face and tell you via Facebook Live that you are going to have to forgive. And the reason why you're going to have to forgive is so that you can rest in the Lord. Some of us are not sleeping well at night. Some of us are experiencing insomnia. Some of us are sleeping uh, just sleepless nights. Some of our, our sleep pattern is being disturbed. And some of that is because there is unforgiveness in your heart. I know some of us come from dysfunctional families like myself. Some of us have family members that just, you know, we, we just... It's just part of life. Our families are not all together. There's something that happened in our families that allow us not to speak to one another. Um, some of us just somebody offended you, somebody uh, disappointed you. Even those that are on this live, maybe you as a woman, you've been in a relationship and that relationship disappointed you. There was some shame. Somebody offended you. Um, I don't know. Maybe your children... You raised them, you did the best that you could, and, and now they've disappointed you or they've disrespected you in some way. There are some things that are going on in our lives, and we have not forgiving the we are not forgiving people for the things that they've done to us. Sometimes people do stuff to us unknowingly. They we don't even they don't even know that they've offended us, and we're holding this stuff. And now we cannot sleep at night. Do you know God wants you to rest? God, yes, you. I want to encourage you today that God wants you to rest. God wants you to rest, not at night, but rest in him. He wants you to trust in him. And in order for you to do that, in order to break that spirit of insomnia that is in your life, in order to break those uh, sleep disturbances, you are going to have to forgive. Somebody type that in the, in the post that you are going to forgive one word for your Wednesday wisdom, forgive, forgive people of God. There is a spirit. I'm going to pray for you before this live ends, but there is a spirit of forgiveness that allows you to forgive people. You got to let them go. They sleeping at night. There are some people that offended you and you know, they know they, that they've offended you, but God does not want you to stop your purpose, to stop your rest because of that person. So you're going to have to forgive them. I'm reminded of the story. I think it's in Matthew 18 where the debtor, he was, uh, God, the, the, the King forgave him for his debt, but there was somebody that owed him a debt. 
And he did not forgive that person for the debt that that person owed him. And so the king put him in prison and there were, there were, uh, uh, spirits that tormented him. So when there is a spirit of unforgiveness in your life, then that is a tormenting spirit that comes in the middle of the night to torment you, to chop up your sleep, to break your sleep, to wake you in the middle of the night. You trying to actually just rest. You trying to, you had a long day at work and you trying to really just move forward in your rest so that your body can heal, your mind can rest. And there's some unforgiveness that's going on. And these unclean spirits, they will come in and torture you in the middle of the night. Some of it is, is anxiety. Some of it is stress, but some of it is unforgiveness, people of God, and we have to forgive. So I release the spirit of forgiveness upon you today in the name of Jesus, that you will not try to forgive in your mind, but that you will forgive in your heart for people that have offended you, people that have shamed you, people that have disrespected you, people that have done things intentionally and unintentionally. I decree and declare that you would forgive in the name of the Lord Jesus, whether it was your family whether it was your mama, whether it was your sister, whether it was your auntie, whether it was your child, whether it was your grandmother, forgive them. And yes, glory to God. I feel even in the spirit realm, some of you have been uh, 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 violated and that little girl and that little boy that's on the inside of you has not forgiven those that have hurt you. And so even if you've been violated as a little girl, five years old, 10 years old, 13 years old, a little boy, you didn't know any better. Your parent may have put you, uh, left you in the hands of somebody to watch you and something happened to you. I release in the name of the Lord Jesus, the spirit for you to forgive. And I hear the Lord saying, forgive quickly, forgive quickly, moving forward that you'll forgive people that have hurt you, that have offended you, that have shamed you. And even moving forward, anybody that offends you now moving forward, that you'll forgive. There are some things that God wants to do for you before this year is out and you're going to have to release that spirit of unforgiveness in your life. And so I want you to type in there, forgive. I want you to tap yourself, whether you at work, you on your lunch break, say, God, thank you that you have granted me and you have graced me to forgive. So let me pray for you right now. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus. I pray for these, your people, Lord God. I pray, Father God, the spirit of forgiveness would rest upon him, them, Lord God. Anybody that have offended them, anybody that has shamed them, Lord God, I come against it in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that you, that they will no longer hold any wrongs of, uh, they will not hold any more things that people have wronged them in, that they won't hold account of the things that they've been wronged about God. And I pray God that as they release and that they forgive those that have hurt them, that have harmed them, that have rejected them, Lord God, that have uh, embarrassed them, Lord God. I pray and break the spirit of insomnia. I decree and declare that they would rest, Father God. Let them rest in you, Lord God. I bind that sleep pattern disturbance in the name of Jesus, Lord God. I pray that your people, Father God, that you would allow them to rest in you, Father God, in the name of the Lord Jesus. And even this, people of God, even this, I, I, I told this to my church last night and I'm going to say it to Facebook live for the rest of this year. I want you to take your phone out of your room. Do not charge your phone in your room for the rest of this year. So what that means and what that looks like is that you're going to find a place outside of your bedroom to charge your phone throughout the night. So if you have to put your phone on the charger in your living room, in your kitchen, I want you to take it out of your bedroom because God is going to supernaturally give you rest. And because the phone is connected to your nightstand, it's connected to the side of your bed. Some of y'all sleeping with your phone in the bed. Some of you got it on the nightstand. Stand. But if you know anything about physically surgery, when people, when the doctor does surgery on you, the first thing they do is they have to check your blood pressure. And a lot of times if your blood pressure is high, they will not, they will not proceed with the surgery. And so God began to speak to me. The Holy Spirit began to minister to me and tell me that mentally your blood pressure is high. Mentally, your blood pressure is high, not physically, but mentally, because you are 
are so connected to the cell phone. You are so connected to social media. And in order for him to do surgery on your heart, in order for him to allow you to rest peacefully at night, he needs to disconnect you from that cell phone. So if you got to make your last phone call, if you got to make your last text message before you get in the bed, do that and actually tech, put your phone outside of your bedroom so that you can rest and allow the Holy Spirit to begin to do surgery mentally on you. You overwhelmed, you overworked, you worrying, you anxious, you stress, you thinking about all of these things and God wants you to rest. And another word for rest is to trust the Lord. So I am commanding and charging every person on this live, even if you if you not watching it now and you watching it after you've gotten off work, I want you, this is the spirit of the Lord speaking, to take your phone out of your bedroom for charging purposes so that the Lord can do, he can lower your blood pressure so he can stabilize mentally mentally, cognitively. Some of you all can't even concentrate. You try to read something and your mind is all over the place. You can't even comprehend, but I can't be on this live too long. I just wanted to come with my Wednesday wisdom to encourage you to forgive. I've already released the spirit of forgiveness upon you so that you can sleep at night, so you can rest at night. We are binding the spirit of insomnia. I want you to go to my website at www.latasharbrown.com and I want you to click on prayer requests, submit your prayer requests. I have 37 days left of intercession. I will be praying and interceding over every prayer request that comes through my, uh, my website. So I want you to go to www.latasharbrown.com. Don't forget the R. I do have a middle name. So don't forget latasharbrown.com. And I want you to submit your prayer request. And I don't know who you are on this live. Forgive your mother. Glory to God. Your mother probably did the best that she could with you. Maybe she didn't know how to raise you. Maybe she mentally abused you. She talked down to you. But I decree and declare the spirit of the Lord is speaking to forgive your mother. Release her. Loose her and let her go so that you can live. So that you can walk in your purpose and in your destiny. I know some of you all follow me. You don't even know who I am. I just want to share as I end this, this live that I am the senior pastor wife of Abundant Blessings Church in Inglewood, Chicago. My pastor, my husband is Episcopal Vicar Clarence Edward Brown III. Not only am I a senior pastor's wife, I am an author. I'm an entrepreneur. I am the author of the book. He is just like a relationship. You can go on my website and order that. But I just wanted to let you know who is speaking into your life. This is the Holy Spirit speaking to you that you are already authorized and released to forgive. I love you with the love of the Lord. I'll be back on next Wednesday with the Wednesday's wisdom to encourage you. Submit your prayer request. I love you all with the love of the Lord. God bless you.